Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's prayer, praise, worship, and declaration of scripture with Ayaba G. I love you, oh yeah. I love you, oh yeah. I love you, oh yeah. I love you, oh, I love you, oh, yeah. I love you, oh, yeah. I love you. I praise you, oh, yeah. I praise you, oh, yeah. I praise you, oh, yeah. I praise you, oh, I praise you, oh, yeah. I praise you, oh, yeah. I praise you. I thank you, oh yeah. I thank you, oh yeah. I thank you, oh yeah. I thank you, oh, I thank you, oh yeah. I thank you, oh yeah. I thank you. I worship you, yeah. I worship you, yeah. I worship you, yeah. I worship you, oh, I worship you, yeah. I worship you, yeah. I worship you. I love you, oh, yeah. I love you, oh, yeah. I love you, oh, yeah. I love you, oh, I love you, oh, yeah. I love you, oh, yeah. I love you. I praise you, oh yeah. I praise you, oh yeah. I praise you, oh yeah. I praise you, oh, I praise you, oh yeah. I praise you, oh yeah. I praise you. I thank you, oh yeah. I thank you, oh yeah. I thank you, oh yeah. I thank you, oh, I thank you, oh, yeah. I thank you, oh, yeah. I thank you. I worship you, yeah. I worship you, yeah. I worship you, yeah. I worship you, oh, I worship you, yeah. I worship you, yeah. I worship you. Hallelujah, 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 oh hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for all that you've done. You're the only one who extended mercy when I wasn't worthy. Y'all forgave and healed me. I was blind, but now I see. Esteem to Yah from me. I lift my voice and sing. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done. You're the only one who extended mercy when I wasn't worthy. Y'all forgave and healed me. I was blind, but now I see. Esteem to Yah from me. I lift my voice and sing. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done. You're the only one who 
extended mercy when I wasn't worthy. Y'all forgave and healed me. I was blind, but now I see. Esteem to Yah from me. I lift my voice and sing, thank you. I lift my voice and sing, thank you. I lift my voice and sing, thank you. Audience of one, audience of one, audience of one, you are my audience of one. I bow before your throne, you are my audience of one. Your presence sets the tone, you are my audience of one. With both my hands I raise, you are my audience of one. An offering of praise, you are my audience of one. I lift my voice and sing, you are my audience of one. It's worship that I bring, you are my audience of one. A worshiper that's true, you are my audience of one. In spirit and in truth, you are my audience of one. Audience of one. Audience of one. Audience of one. You are my audience of one. I bow before your throne, you are my audience of one. Your presence sets the tone, you are my audience of one. With both my hands I raise, you are my audience of one. An offering of praise, you are my audience of one. I lift my voice and sing, you are my audience of one. It's worship that I bring, you are my audience of one. A worshiper that's true, you are my audience of one. In spirit and in truth, you are my audience of one. Audience of one. Audience of one, audience of one, you are my audience of one. I bow before your throne, you are my audience of one. Your presence sets the tone, you are my audience of one. With both my hands I raise, you are my audience of one. An offering of praise, you are my audience of one. I lift my voice and sing, you are my audience of one. It's worship that I bring, you are my audience of one. A worshiper that's true, you are my audience of one. In spirit and in truth, you are my audience of one. Audience of one, oh my audience of one. Audience of one, you are my audience of one. Audience of one, oh my audience of one. Audience of one, you are my audience of one. Ivory, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without belief, it is impossible to please him, for he that comes to Yahuwah 
must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Let us pray. Abba Yah, in the mighty name of Yahusha, we thank you and praise you for this another day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Abba Yah, we thank you for the opportunity to spend time in your presence, for in your presence there is fullness of joy. Abba Yah, we thank you for the opportunity to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We are thankful unto you and we bless your name for you are good. Your mercies are everlasting and your truth endure to all generations. Abba Yah, we worship you at your footstool. How excellent is your name in all the earth. Abba Yah, we recognize you as King of Kings. We recognize you as the great I am. We recognize you as the Allah and the top, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the author and the finisher of our belief. Abba Yah, we thank you for another Shabbat. We thank you for another day of rest. We thank you for another day of relaxation. We thank you for another day that we can pray, that we can praise you, that we can worship you that we can give you the high esteem, that we can hold you in high esteem today. Hallelujah. Abba Yah, we thank you for another opportunity that you have blessed us with to renew our minds today with the Torah and the rest of scripture. Abba Yah, we thank you and praise you, Abba Yah. We dedicate ourselves to you. We dedicate this time unto you on today. Hallelujah. We focus on you. We concentrate on you. We give you our undivided attention on today. We fix our eyes upon you, O oh Yah. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise that is due unto your name. Hallelujah. 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 From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, Yahuwah's name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 We lift up set apart hands unto you, O Yah, as we offer up ourselves as living offerings set apart and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. Abba Yah, we humble ourselves before you on today, asking you to forgive us for anything that we have said, that we have done, or that we have thought about that is a sin against you and your commandments. Abba Yah, forgive us for any secret sins. Forgive us for any hidden faults. Forgive us for any level of idolatry, adultery, or whoredom of the heart that we have committed against you and your commandments. Abba Yah, forgive us for any person, any relationship, any activity, or anything that we have placed above or before our relationship with you and the time that we invest in your word, in prayer, in praise, in worship, and meditating upon you, the Torah, and the rest of scripture. Abba Yah, thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your deliverance. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Thank you for your mercies that are brand new every single morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for your patience with us. We thank you for your long suffering towards us. We don't take that lightly or loosely, Abba Yah. We don't take you for granted, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for starting us on our way. Thank you for the food that we have to eat. Thank you for the clothes that we have to wear. Thank you for the shelter and the homes and the apartments and the places that we have to live in. Abba Yah, hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Yah, for all your many blessings. Hallelujah. We come before you with an attitude of gratitude and gratefulness unto you, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Abba Yah, for opening up our eyes in areas of our lives where we have been spiritually blinded. Thank you for opening up our ears in areas of our lives where we have been spiritually deaf. Hallelujah. Thank you for softening our hearts in areas of our hearts where our hearts have been hardened, Abba Yah. Thank you for giving us a deeper hunger and thirst after you, your word, and after righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May we draw nigh unto you so that you can draw nigh unto us. Abba Yah, we submit ourselves, therefore, unto you. We resist the devil so that he can flee from us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Yah, for giving us clarity of vision. Thank you for giving us clarity of focus. Thank you for helping us to have the right spiritual perspective, Abba Yah. Thank you for helping us not to get pulled in by the world system, our flesh, or the devil, Abba Yah. Help us not to get pulled away from our relationship with you and our time that we should be investing in our relationship with you by the distractions of the world, Abba Yah. Help us to stay focused in these last days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Yah, for continuing to purge us and cleanse us and deliver us, Abba Yah, from all manner of sin and wickedness and iniquity that may be in our lives, Abba Yah. As you expose to us any sin that may be in our lives, may we be quick to humble ourselves and repent and turn away from any sin and wickedness and iniquity that you have exposed to us in our own lives, Abba Yah. And may we be quick to turn to you and be obedient to you and your commandments, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. Thank you for cleansing us from all of the brainwashing and the indoctrination and the programming, Abba Yah, and the doctrines of demons and the doctrines of devils and the wrong thinking, Abba Yah, that we have been exposed to throughout our lives. Thank you for delivering us from all of that, Abba Yah. Thank you for cleansing us. Thank you for purging us from that, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us to see things the way that you would have us to see them, Abba Yah, according to your commandments, according to the Torah and the rest of scripture, Abba Yah, according to your standard, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. Help us to remember, Abba Yah, that we serve you, that we are living according to your standard, according to your commandments, Abba Yah. All of the time, help us to remember that you are watching at all times. You know what we are thinking. You know what we are going to say before we say it. You know what we're going to do before, we're, before we do it. Help us to remember, Abba Yah, that nothing is hidden from you. And help us to remember that you are not only an Elohim of love, but you are also an Elohim of judgment and of wrath. Help us to remember that, Abba Yah, as you have extended mercy to us today. Help us to examine ourselves to judge ourselves, to judge our thoughts, to judge our own words, to judge our own actions, Abba Yah. And scrutinize ourselves so that we won't have to be judged by others. Help us to live set apart Kodesh lives before you and before other people. When we're alone, may we live a set apart life. 
Help us to live lives that are full of set apart character. Lives that are pleasing to you, Abba Yah. We love you. We adore you. We appreciate you. There is none like you. There is none before you, Abba Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In these last and evil days, help us not to be taken in by every wind of doctrine. Help us not to be tossed to and fro, Abba Yah. Help us to remember that you are our help. You are our buckler. You are our shield. You are our shade. You are our fortress. You are our strong tower. You are our high tower. You are our strength. The righteous run into you and are safe. Hallelujah. Thank you for being our mind regulator. Thank you for being our heart fixer. Thank you for being our problem solver. Thank you for being our way sure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our hope is in you. Our belief is in you. Our trust is in you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Abba Yah, that you have made us like that tree that is planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season with leaves that do not wither and everything that we do shall prosper. Hallelujah. We thank you for accepting our praise and our worship to you as it rises as vapors around your throne. We thank you for it being a sweet smelling savor to your nostrils and a sweet, sweet sound to your ear. In Yahusha's mighty name, we pray all of these things. So be it. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom once again to each and every one of you. I want to thank you for joining me at whatever time you may be tuning in to watch this video. And for those of you who will be watching this video at the time of its premiere, I want to thank you for joining me during the premiere. And I look forward to fellowshipping with each and every one of you in the live chat. So this is Declare the Word of Yahuwah Over Your Life, Part 12. And our foundation scripture for today reads as follows. Ivrim, or Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, and it reads as follows. But without belief, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to Yahuwah must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. But without belief, it is impossible to please him. You can't even please Yahuwah without belief in him, in his word, in his power, in his authority, in him. It's impl impossible to please him without belief. So if you have doubt in who Yahuwah is, you're not pleasing him. You've got to understand that. I've got to understand that. We've got to understand that. This is very, very important. We can't come before Yahuwah with doubt and unbelief. Because if we do, we're not pleasing him. Okay? So without belief, it is impossible to please him. Okay? We've got to understand that. We want to please Yahuwah. So that means we've got to have total belief and confidence in him, in who he is and what he is capable of of doing in and for us in our lives. 
For he that comes to Yahuwah must believe that he is. Okay? You've got to believe that he is. That he is. That he is who? That he is the Allah and the Taf. The beginning and the end. The first and the last, the author and the finisher of our belief, that he is our provider, that he is our protector, that he is our source, that he is our exceeding great reward, that he is an Elohim of love, but he is an Elohim of wrath, and judgment that he is see a lot of people don't believe that he is so that's why they live the way that they do a lot of people don't believe that he is they that's why they don't cast their cares upon yahuwah knowing that he cares for them because they don't believe that he is We've got to get that deep down into our, into our Ruachs on today. That when we come to him, that when we come to, to Yahuwah, we've got to believe that he is. <laughs> we've got to believe that he is. We've got to understand that. We've got to know him for who he is is and i want to submit to you today if you don't know who he is i mean really know him for yourself you only know what people are saying about him then you have got to you know reevaluate your relationship with the most high yah you really do because before you come to him, thinking that you're going to, you know, receive anything from him, you've got to come in belief, in total belief and confidence and faith. Because you can't please him any other way. And you've got to come believing that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay? Matthew 6.33 says this. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahuwah and all of its righteousness. And all of these things will be added unto you. OK. We have to seek Yahuwah diligently. That means we you know, we've got to do it all the time, consistently. Continuously, daily, we've got to be diligent about it. That means we can't give up. We can't throw in the towel. We can't wave the white flag. We can't surrender. But we have to be diligent in seeking him, seeking him in prayer, seeking him in praise, seeking him in worship, seeking him in meditation, seeking him for wisdom, seeking him for, for knowledge, seeking him for understanding. When we do that and we are humble and we are sincere and we are diligent and we are faithful and we totally believe in him, in who he is, then he will reward us as diligent seekers of him. So take the time out to, you know, evaluate where you are 
in your relationship with the Most High Yah, how you approach him in prayer. Do you come in total belief and confidence in him? Wanting to please him because that's the only way that we can please. That's how we can please him. We, he's not pleased when we come before him in doubt and unbelief. We are not pleasing the Most High Yah when we come before him with a double-minded mentality. We've got to come before him believing that he is. If you are in need of provision today, you've got to know that he is your provider. If you are in need of healing today, you've got to know and believe that he is your healer. If you're in need of deliverance today, you've got to know without a shadow of a doubt that he is your deliverer. Okay, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Pray about this passage of scripture today. Meditate on it. Go before the Most High Yah in total belief and confidence in him. Be diligent in seeking Yahuwah. Do it today. Y'all willing, do it tomorrow. Y'all willing, do it the next day. As long as you have breath in your body, me too, we should be diligently seeking Yahuwah daily. So, if you haven't seen the first 11 parts of Declare the Word of Yahuwah over your life, go back. I encourage you to go back, watch those videos, get those scripture declarations that are a part of those videos, write them down, screenshot them, and utilize them as resources as part of your prayer time. Speak, declare, confess, Say the word of Yahuwah over your life today. So continue on with me as we go forth and declare today's declaration of scripture. End your day with Yahuwah. This declaration is based on the following scriptures. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 31. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. The set-apart Ruach of Yahuwah is upon me, Yahuwah gives me the strength that I need. I have peace, rest, and comfort in the Most High Yah. While the winds of life blow and the storms are raging, I have the peace of Yahuwah that passes all human understanding as my heart and mind are kept through Mashiach Yahusha. Yahuwah keeps me in perfect peace. I have total belief and confidence in the word of Yahuwah. The word of Yah does not return to him void, but shall accomplish that which he pleases, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto he sent it. I put my trust in Yahuwah to bring his word to pass. Yahuwah goes before me and is with me. Yahuwah will never leave me or forsake me. I cast all my cares upon Yahuwah, for he cares for me. I have made a conscious decision not to worry or be anxious about anything. Health, healing, and wholeness are mine. 
When I lay down, I will not be afraid. I will lay down and my sleep shall be sweet. So be it. Hallelujah. Speak life over your finances. This declaration is based on the following scriptures. Psalm chapter 118 verse 24. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 13. Psalm chapter 121 verse 8. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Third John chapter 1 verse 2. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 12. This is the day that Yahuwah has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yah shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Mashiach, Yahusha. I am prospering, and I am in good health, even as my soul prospers. As I obey the commandments of the Most High Yah, Yahuwah has made me the head and not the tail. Yah has made me above and not beneath. Yahuwah has blessed me going in and coming out. I am blessed in the workplace and in my business. Yah has given me favor with those who are in authority over me. As I live in obedience to Yah, the blessings of Abraham are mine. I am doing what it takes to live a debt-free lifestyle. All of my financial responsibilities are met and paid on time. I prosper in whatever I set my hands to do. I operate in the wisdom of Yahuwah concerning my finances. Because I gave, Yah has blessed me in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. As I operate in the wisdom of Yah, I find out knowledge of witty inventions. Yahuwah gives me the ability to turn my ideas into provision and resources for my life. As Yah brings increase in my finances, I am an excellent steward. Yah utilizes me as a resource to be a blessing to others. So be it. Hallelujah. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Yahuwah, my strength and my Redeemer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Yahuwah, my strength and my Redeemer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Yahuwah, my strength and my Redeemer, my strength and my Redeemer, my strength and my Redeemer. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.